<laughs> I, I, chocolate. Yo, I legit was 21 years old before I realized that that made sense. Yeah, you just you just didn't know what the rhyme. Meant. I'm like, You're the, like, s- like what the, the sky dome's always in town. <laughs> <laughs> Because the way it's worded, you know yeah. what I mean? I'm just like... Yeah, chocolate has a really kind of like sometimes offbeat I asked flow Danny about or, that too. You know what I'm saying? Like I noticed that when I was really young. I'm like, this guy's flow's a little off, but sometimes it works. Yeah. And, and you know I liked what? it a lot more when I got older. When I was younger, I yeah. didn't rate that shit. As I got older, I was like... I'm not going to lie. I didn't idea. rate chocolate when I was younger either. Yeah. I was like, I don't get this. But then you got older. And then I got older, I'm like, I get this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right? I you fucked just, the shock. Yeah, shout out Chocs, man. You're ahead of your time, man. I wasn't mature yeah. enough. Yo, when Shock I was... G or Shock Claire? Shock Claire. Who's winning in a battle? Shock Claire. Oh, Shock Claire for sure. Shock Claire. Yeah, he's beating Shock G. I think so. I don't even know if I Maybe. heard Shock G went... like freestyle. <laughs> like, I know that Chocs can, she can, he can he, throw he it he out. He can spit it. Yeah. Then again, you never know, man. The guy's from Oakland. I'm he sure he came up doing too. shit in the 80s, really yeah. killing it before. You know, yeah. he's, he's been on fucking world tours forever, so yeah. I'm sure he knows he some shit. He must be able to do all the spit. Absolutely. All right, let's, let's, let's get that battle happening. Chocolate versus Shock G? Yeah. Ooh, okay. We call, <laughs> it, so sho- weird, call it shock therapy. That's <laughs> a weird battle, man. You know what I'm saying? That's that's a, that, that should be a thing for KOTD to shock set up. Therapy. Yeah, yo, get that. You could yeah. book them. Yeah. We'll haul that out organic. That wouldn't be the hardest battle to set up. It would just be the weirdest battle. Like, oh, yeah. Really that's so that weird. Shit. But would you not, like, tell me you're on YouTube one day and you see you know what? Shock Actually, G versus idea. Shock Lair. You're not clicking that battle. How you're awesome be like, would yo, that how be? the hell did this go down? How awesome would that be if KOD, KOTD just started booking random old school acts like that have absolutely nothing to do with each other or battling to actually fucking battle each other and promoted that for like six months. So like, yo, we're going to get uh, Method Man versus uh, fucking... Like, T.I. Versus, no, like... <laughs> He, exactly. Meth Man, no, but Meth Man already has a fucking battle show, so he's not yeah, coming yeah, out to yeah, do yeah. that. And but that's, I guess, like where you're going to see that show. shit. Like, yeah. That show's kind of dope. It's not bad. It's not bad. You know he stole it from KOTD, yeah. though. They're just like, we're going to get celebrities to do this shit. We're going to jack fucking Jerry organics Springer, idea. Jerry Springer versus um, um, Ricky Lake. Yeah, yeah. That's dope. <laughs> no, there's a few episodes that yeah. are pretty dope. A few of them surprise me. You're on there, you're like, holy shit, dude, you really fucking spit. Like, I think it's all scripted, yo. They're I just, wouldn't be surprised. They're just reciting. I wouldn't be surprised. You know what? That makes sense because I saw like the the episode with um, the the WWE girls and the fucking girls from Glow on Netflix, and the WWE girls were so offbeat that it was just like yeah. eh, kind of horrible. The Glow girls, you could tell, like. Yeah, you guys could do this, not bad. <laughs> but then on Glow, they 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 have their little rap and shit they do on Glow anyway, so. It is what it is, but yeah, man. Let's let's, let's uh, segue off the hip hop onto. Well, I gotta, well, actually, let's stay with. I gotta the ask one more thing, just mm-hmm. based on what we were talking about yeah, earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wackest rappers. Wow. Silk the Most Shocker. overrated. Ooh. Most overrated. Most overrated. Ooh. Silk the Shocker, number one on Silk that list. Silk the Shocker. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. Man, I, fuck, I gotta think about that. Because there's a lot. Any almost every rapper with a little. I, that covers a lot of people. Hey, Wayne's not bad. I said Wayne's not a bad. A lot of them. I didn't say. I didn't say all of them. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I didn't say, <laughs> um, I didn't say all of them. But you guys remember? Is all a bunch remember Buddy Lee? Buddy Lee. Fuck no. Buddy Lee. You remember Buddy Lee? No. He was a white guy that was down with the locks. Word. Word. I'm not even lying. I'm not even. Yo, look him up. Look, Google him Buddy right now. Lee. Buddy Lee. And is he whack? He, he, you know what? I'm not going to say he was, like, super, super whack, but, like, he had this track, and I remember my cousins used to bump the shit out of it because they were, like, 11, 12, and I'm like, yo, this is the wackest hook ever. What the fuck's going on here? <laughs> but they loved it. They loved it. And I'm like, yo, was that the locks, like, bench pressing in the back of this guy's video and stuff? He was, like, if, word. Yo, if you ever watch, like, some of the locks videos and stuff, he's usually the one lone or one or two white guys who's in there, like, in there, you know what I'm saying, going hard with them. I'm like, oh, shit, that's the dude from... You know the videos before, okay? That's what's Holy up. Shit. Yo, you got to reconnect behind you there. Wow, yeah, buddy man. Lee. Wow, why we got low network everywhere right now? You know, yeah. Ja, Ja is soft. Ja rule. Jeremiah said that. Oh shit! What happened? The internet get dropped up in here? I don't know. Yeah, but I got low network connection on here too. It's kind of uh, like well, we're universal experiencing right a little now. bit of a problem. A little bit of technical difficulty. But we're still on the air on the radio. I think. Oh wait, Hopefully. connection available. I'm looking good okay, again. Okay, okay. What's up with you? Yeah, what's up with you? Funny, funny. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll get reconnected. We'll figure our shit out. Shout out to Maximum FM, regardless. Yes. Up in the studios, nothing but love. Um, we'll continue the conversation once you know everything gets booted back up here. Hopefully. Yeah. It looks Ooh. like it is. Yeah. Somewhat. For the time being. Yeah. Oh, yo, Dustin's not drinking beer this time. No, no, no. I'm the lo- some water. <laughs> I'm the lone drinker today. I got water. The lone drinker. He's a simple man. <laughs> And he's a lonely man. Uh, 
Did uh, did we disconnect the modem or something? No, nah, the internet's so. back. It's well, kind of all over the place. But yeah, it's like uh, can I, yeah, I just connect in. There we go. We back. We back up and running. Yeah, yeah. sort of. All right, cool. Kind of, sort of. All right, so wackest rappers is what we're uh, what we're saying, right? So show. Yeah, or it Jeremiah have to said be wackest, but like. Almost how we were putting it before, like Buddy Lee, I don't get it. I don't get it. You know what I mean? Right like, now. yeah, like the lyrics are whack, the flows whack. Like, yeah, I don't yeah, get yeah. it. I would say, like, I would argue a lot of the No Limit Squad back oh, in the day. Yeah, 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 yeah. X was dope, dope, dope. Me was dope. Yeah. Me was dope. But like, a lot of, there was a lot that were dope, and there were a lot that were just kind of like eh. Silk. Like, is the worst of them. So, like, that kind of is like already like yeah, got so that now. What the up. fuck was that? What was up with Silk the Shocker? Like, All right, question then. You know, <laughs> Silk the Shocker is so whack, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, he got a rich brother. What he the lucked fuck out in was life. What's up man. with that? I'm curious, For real, you know, like, what was up with it? Like, you know, he was, I didn't he was lucky his that. brother was, you know, his oh, brother shit. made that money and, he, you know, Yo, did his thing. But I did not get Silk the Shocker. But hey, man, make that money, Silk. Spend yeah. that money. <laughs> Fuck. I wish I got that money that you made off this yeah. game and, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't. My brother ain't rich like yours and I ain't mad at that. I got to make my that money for my brother to spend, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> shout, out, shout out Silk the Shocker. I don't think Ja Rule was that whack of a rapper, to be completely honest with you. I think he got railroaded. I understand he had to be for 50 and he tried to blackball 50, so it's kind of karma coming back to butt him in the ass to get blackballed himself. Um, but he wasn't whack. Go back and listen to his shit. Go back and listen to 50 shit. You know, 50 was clowning on him for a lot of that melodic stuff, and that's exactly what 50 does. You know yeah. what I mean? 50's formula is no different than what Ja Rule's formula was. And I'll be completely honest with you, you're a DJ. So just like I know, yeah. if you were to go into the club right now and throw on a 15, 20 minute Ja Rule set of all the hits he did with Lil Mo oh, yeah, and yeah. Jennifer Lopez and all those people, people will go absolutely crazy for that Ja Rule set. Of course. You know what I mean? So a lot of people try to railroad that. Another whack one, you know, you could argue is, is Puffy. You know, I never liked, really liked Puffy oh, as a yeah. rapper, but yeah. same fucking thing. I could throw on a 20-minute Puffy set, and people will go ape shit. And the yeah. same people that hated Puffy 20 years ago are the same ones that'll be the first on the floor to be like, oh, my God, yo, this set's dope. And they'll know every single word to every Puffy track and, you know, every Mace track yeah. that you throw on. So, you know, it, it's, it's hard, man. It's, it's hard to say, like, who's whack. My boy was saying Nori the other day, and yeah. I'm like, hell no, Noriega is not a whack rapper. If it wasn't no. for Noriega, I don't think Pharrell would be as big as Pharrell is. Cause, yeah. You know, Nori kind of made an, Pharrell's yo. career. Right, so I do is, not think Nori's a whack rapper. Okay. <sighs> Drop this, your story, man. This is the conversation exactly I was actually looking to hear. To say Noriega? Looking you're looking to have. No, okay. but, like, this exact one. Yeah. So we're not talking about, like, the wackest rappers of all time. It's just, like, the ones, like that, super the ones that but were super the, whack and made so much money that it was just like, what's going on? That, like, yeah. Your phone's ringing. What the? All right. Um, yeah, who, who's, who's super successful where, you know, you didn't believe that Whoa. they get that successful? I would say right now, <laughs> she's not whack, but Cardi B. I did not expect Cardi, Cardi B to be this successful. But I, I seen it. I thought one hit one. I, I seen it because I time. already know a lot of her older records. Yeah. And right. they were good too. Okay. Okay. And I think if they came out now. They would blow? She, yeah. Okay. Do you think it's just that that she's the one positioned to place Nicki Minaj? Nah, and because the industry nah. was kind of looking for nah, that? Or? Nah, not because of that. Okay. 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 Uh, just because she. she what know. the comments saying over Number there? Number one is uh, hip. Oh, what's it called? It just Love said Jazz Soft. Ah, okay. The Love and Hip Hop thing was one. Yep. Yep. And then the fact. She does so much comical shit on Instagram alone. Speak. Before yeah, before yeah, Bodak yeah, yeah. Yellow came out, so that yeah, people, yeah. she already okay. had people's. Um, so she was playing it up. She, yeah. she's, she's a I personality. I was into her more than into her fucking. Did you see you, shit she she was saying? Okay. Then her before Bodak Yellow came well, out. Well, speaking of this shit, she's saying. You know, we're just talking about rappers at the moment. I'm political, yeah. but tr segue into some political yeah. now that we're speaking about Cardi B. Did you? Well, actually, you saw it. Yeah. So let's ask y'all. Did any of you guys see the the skit that Cardi B made, <laughs> the um, Real Housewives of um, did, the Civil I Rights Movement? I heard of it, but I didn't. Yeah, it's a little I didn't interesting. Hear it. You know what's funny? It was a little fucked up. Prior to this, there yeah. was another thing that came out of her um, um, being racist against Mexicans and yeah, blah blah blah. Last week, I didn't whatever, look into right, that. Right? So I don't really. Okay, know, she did yeah. some questionable things in the past. But is she, but isn't she like? When you actually look Latino? at the content, yeah, yeah. I told I had told somebody that she, someone said, "Oh, she's Puerto Rican." I'm like, okay. "Nah, she's Dominican and Trinidadian." So, doesn't matter. Like, the the point is this: What did she really say? Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't see what she said. Just like what the, did she say? Just like the uh, the civil rights thing. Yeah, 
I lo- I looked at it and I'm like, this is bullshit, but I'm not gonna get mad about it. Yeah, yeah. It's not that serious. If Martin Luther King, if he did what people said he did, which is, man, he, they're saying he was a whore. He was fucking down girls. <laughs> okay, well, um, well, hold on, hold on, etc. Hold on, hold on. Can you it not is be well a known. whore but be righteous? Exactly. But ah, it is well known. It's righteous well known and ratchet. That it's it's well known that MLK <laughs> was you know he was out there getting righteous his and ratchet. yeah getting his swerve on like MLK. Yeah. You know, no diss to him, but he was out yeah. there doing what he was doing. Th- but like Maloney said, can you not get your, you know, unfortunately he might have had that personal flaw, but he was still a great human being. Is it yeah. a flaw, though? Uh, you know, he was married, you know, he was a pastor, so he's supposed to be loyal to oh, his he wife. Was a pastor. Yeah, 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 right? Yeah. So he's supposed to be yeah. loyal to his wife, but, you know, he still, yeah. it doesn't negate the greatness of who he is as yeah. a man, you know what I'm saying? Just because he was out there getting his, his swerve on, if anything, it just humanizes him more so than anything, which I think people should look at and be like, okay, yeah. well, I could relate to him a lot more. He was a human. He had flaws. He wasn't just this super human being who did everything right. Nobody's people, full people, out right. No, but like you know what I'm saying? Like, people think, like, Martin Luther King, like, they always think, like, oh, he was the perfect person. He would come and just, um, he wouldn't disrupt stuff, and he would just make these speeches, and everyone would understand. No, he would come to disrupt shit. He would come to be That's why they hated him. a rebel yeah. rouser, you know what I'm saying? But he was known to actually kind of yeah. get and his a leader's dick wet. gonna get a leader's gonna get some Punani. Absolutely. Like even Elijah Muhammad. Absolutely. What happened with him? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's why Malcolm kind of dipped, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And Malcolm before he became a uh the devout nation of Islam, he was a piece of shit too. He was Malcolm Red. Yeah. He was right, yeah. He was so a piece of shit. It is. And I have a friend that argues that even when he became righteous, yeah. he still was kind of up to his up to no good. No, the FBI actually, if you if you kind of like like read some of the, the mm. stuff, what they said was the FBI had a file on Martin Luther King and his um his cheating on his wife. That's like yeah. an arm, you know what I'm saying? Like a file that's just like arm long, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Whereas Malcolm, from the point he came out of jail, they had nothing on him. They couldn't no. do nothing. They had no, no. dirt on this yeah, guy. They could not I, find one ounce of dirt I'm that they could incriminate that. him. What I'm yeah. saying is, and this is something I debate me and my boy got into. Yeah. He feels that even though when he cleaned up himself, right. the way he conducted things, he still conducted it as a gangster hustler, whatever. Oh, okay, now, okay. That's but who more, doesn't? That's more, but who doesn't? It's Who doesn't, who doesn't approach doesn't, any organization yeah, well, and say, Yo, I'm going to conduct it. In, in some type of well, gangster. What like, I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, at the end of the day, he he's basically saying he's not as righteous as people think he mm. is. Okay. Well, regardless if the FBI didn't have nothing on him or not. It's like he was like skimming off the top type thing and oh, no one could catch like him that, or something. It's something to have a, like a longer conversation about. And I feel you. He's I feel from you. What I feel he, you. He learned from the within I the nation you. of Islam.